It sounds like something out of a scary movie, a door-to-door -door salesman preying on women at home. But it happened in Whitley County, and now police say they need your help. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields was out in South Whitley today. And Elizabeth, this is a pretty bizarre story. Yeah, it really is, Mark. It started when a man, two men drove up in a van. One man got out and knocked on the woman's door Friday afternoon. He claimed that he was selling household cleaner. But what happened next will have you double-checking your door locks. When he brought a spray bottle up close to her face, the uh, fumes of the spray bottle uh, partially overtook her where she became nauseated and, and dizzy. I talked with the woman this afternoon, and while she didn't want to go on camera or be identified, she did tell me in her own words what happened. She told me the smell reminded her of both ammonia and the nitrous oxide smell at the dentist office. She said she believes if she hadn't closed the door when she did, she would have completely blacked out. She told me she managed to stumble and crawl to her cell phone. When she looked back, the man was watching her through the window, and when she called 911, he ran. Police say they don't know what chemicals could cause such an immediate reaction to the fumes, and they probably won't know unless they find the salesman. So we have to be very, very cautious on uh, who we are talking to. Uh, you've got to make a decision on how much of the doors to open, whether you open them up all the way or just uh, uh, crack them as, as what happened in this uh, incident. Uh, but everybody just needs to be very, very cautious and, again, try to accumulate as much information as they can in case it does turn, uh, turn bad on them. There have been no other reports of this kind of attack in Whitley County or the surrounding area. Police need your help. They're asking you to be on the lookout for a white van with some sort of graphic on the side and a luggage rack on top. They're also looking for a white man in his mid-30s with short, dark hair. If you have any information, call the Whitley County Sheriff's Department. The sheriff also told me that his department is going to be sending out the information statewide to see if they can track down the salesman. Yeah, sounds like something out of a Hitchcock movie or something. Is there anything else that this woman remembers? Well, it, it's kind of small, but she said that she remembered he was wearing a, a stocking cap, and he took it off as he greeted her, and she thought it was initially out of politeness, sure. but she realized he was covering his own nose and mouth with it. Okay, fascinating. Thanks, Elizabeth. Well, uh, there's already a lot of...